Hey guys, Skilliard here. Uh, I just wanted to show off a couple interesting findings I found on uh, NVIDIA's webpage that has information on the GTX 1080. Um, by going through the inspect element as well as the viewing page source in Firefox, I managed to uncover a little bit of somewhat interesting information that I think some of you would like to see. So the first thing I want to show you is in the performance tab. You see there's this little chart here where it shows kind of benchmarks where it compares the 980 and the 1080. And there's two problems with it. The first is uh, they don't give specific numbers, so you kind of have to like guess what this is and kind of get a feel for like how much percent better it actually is without actually seeing the numbers. And the second problem is they don't say what resolution or what settings these were done on. Well, I actually managed to find some of that within the... Uh, page source here. So if you look through here, there's actually a line in the code that they commented out that says these are played at 2560 by 1600 at max settings. So my guess is they either decided not to include it or maybe they just, it was a placeholder, we can't be sure, but that's what this says and it's commented out so it won't show on the actual page. Um, the other thing I wanted to show is uh, if you're looking for exactly how much better these are percentage-wise because they don't give actual FPS numbers, uh, we'll do a little bit of a calculation. So you see if I hover over this, it'll tell me the width in pixels of each of the graphs. Um, I'm not too concerned about virtual reality because uh, you never know like how it's going to turn out in the real world. I'm more concerned with like real-world performance that we're likely to see like right now when they come out. So I'm going to look at the difference between Rise of the Tomb Raider between the 980 and 1080 as well as Witcher. So you have 103.75. Or actually, I should do it in reverse, actually, because I'm going to divide. Uh, hold on, where is it? Okay, so 186.75. And then we're dividing it by... Uh, 103.75 and from that we find precisely 80% better performance in Rise of the Tomb Raider at allegedly uh, 1600p 2560 by 1600 at max settings. Now let's look at Witcher 3. So uh, we'll start with, uh, this one's a bit trickier, One. Oh, hold on. 176.367 All right, and uh, and look at the first one, 103.75. All right, and we find roughly 70% improved performance in The Witcher 3. So, in real world uh, benchmarks of games, now they might have uh, they say it's max settings, so it doesn't really seem like they tweak the settings to their favor, but they probably handpicked the games that would best reflect. Uh, better performance, but we're seeing anywhere from 70 to 80 to 80% improved performance, which does seem kind of reasonable, like just looking at the core counts. Uh, if you do the math, uh, it says um, under the specs that uh, the 1080 has 40% higher clock rates, uh, both on the boost and the regular core clock, relative to the, to the 980. And if you look up on Wikipedia, the amount of cores in the 980 versus the amount of cores that they specified within the 1080, you'll find it as 25% more cores. And if you actually multiply it, the so 25% more cores times uh, 1.4, which would be uh, the clock speed relevant, you see 75% uh, when you account for the cores in the clock. So those benchmarks actually do seem kind of reasonable. Now, I'll look through some of the other stuff that I found um, in the source code. Uh, the rest of this video, I'll just kind of seek through and see if I can find anything else that might be of interest. But those were the two major things that I think uh, were particularly interesting. Um, I scrolled down too far. That was main. I think that was mainly it. Oh yeah, they class something out. Uh, Pascal legal based on test results and graphic testing, game, VR intensive uh, gaming applications, and that is uh, in their section two. 
uh, where it says up to three times better performance. So I guess they took out that disclaimer. Um, I'm just looking at some of the things that they've commented out, see if we can figure anything out that they haven't really felt like actually showing on their main page. Um, they commented out, okay, that doesn't really seem like it's a very, the game ready logo, okay, that's just a logo, no point in doing that. Um, code, eh, this is all code. Uh, it seems like it's all I can really find at this point in time. Um, if I find more, I'll upload another video, but that really seems to be all of interest that I managed to find within the inspect element on this page. If I find anything else, I'll make another video. Anyways.